morning, everybody. The first big question is that tropical system in the Gulf. Take it easy, take a deep breath, no panic, okay? Here it is, this is still Invest 95. It's an open wave, a tropical wave that generally drifting across the Gulf. And what it's gonna be for us is a rain enhancer. Now right now there are uh, some winds here in about 20, 30 miles an hour, but there is no circulation. There is no closed loop. And as a result, it continues to be an open wave. Now, 95, where is it located? It's just to the north of the uh, Yucatan. It crossed up and started in. And so you can see it does have a northwesterly flow. Now, it's really not aimed at us. It's aimed somewhere about Brownsville. Let me show you another map. Here's uh, Invest 95 location, 30 mile an hour winds movement stationary this morning, and then uh, will likely start moving. But all of the computer models kind of don't agree. They go from Louisiana to Northern Mexico, so some of them bring it to us. And if it does, all it means is that on Friday, Saturday, uh, we're gonna be a bit of a washout, okay? So I know there's football, there's Saturday events. Right now, the combination of this stationary front and this area of low pressure uh, are gonna make it very soggy. So we're gonna stay in the uh, soggy side, not getting any outdoor work done through at least maybe Sunday, all right? So where are we now? Here's Wednesday morning, and you can see downtown right about there. Heavy rain through much uh, of the, uh, the Delta all the way down into Nueces Bay and then a little bit of rain down in the Chapman Ranch area. Things are much lighter out to the west. If you were out in uh, Freer or, or Hebronville, you don't have that problem. But over the last 24 hours, man, it's been amazing. It, you know, we used to say, you, we used to get showers. Now we get downpours. It, it, it seems like somebody opened the faucet. So we've had a good solid two inches of rain overnight, uh, maybe three or four in some spots. Even heavier rain has been out along the, the uh, Gulf waters caused by this front. This front is uh, an area of lower pressure, so it's lifting the atmosphere, causing that rain, and there you go. Uh, that is gonna be stalled here until the uh, wave, or the Invest 95, rolls in, and that'll be sometime Friday, Saturday, hopefully leaving by Sunday. Well, here is Florence. Florence is gonna be a catastrophe. Uh, it's still a four. It will obviously slow down a little bit as it starts interacting with land, but still they're looking at 125 mile an hour winds uh, right at Wilmington. I mean, that's almost dead center. The strong side of the storm takes it up to Hatteras and there, that area is gonna be the worst hit. And then here, the real problem is that it's going to stall and wobble around this area. And uh, so we're looking now, you know, I said uh, five to 10 inches yesterday, it's more like, 10 to 20 inches of rain out of this. So there's gonna be a lot of inland flooding as well, especially along the Appalachians. For you, keep the rain gear handy because we're gonna be under heavy thunder showers today, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, especially uh, if that wave of Invest 95 affects us. With a little luck, it looks like Sunday will be the beginning of the system leaving, uh, and we're going to just isolated showers for the early part of next week. That is your forecast this morning. It's brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. And we'll